Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Adatullah with another new video. In a previous video, I have just shown you that how we'll uh, analyze and how we'll draw or I mean how we'll complete our uh, pile cap for design analysis. So, uh, in our previous analysis, we've shown that our every point we're passing except that point under column. Okay, under uh, column, the point under column that are not passing because this point are taking huge load because of deflection right so in our previous video also have shown that if we increase our pile cap thickness then our that column i mean uh, our deflection are reducing so when deflection will reduce then the th i mean that our pile cap that will be able to transfer load perfectly in another columns uh, I mean pile columns okay so here we have seen that our the safe load of pile that is one point I mean 1000 kilonewton right 1000 kilonewton but we have seen that our that our that value is more than 1000 kilonewton and another wall pile loader okay so actually how will make it safe okay how will make it safe how will make that uh, pile foundation safe so to make it safe they have two way just you have to increase you have to increase that uh, pile diameter okay you have to increase that pile diameter this is the one way when you will increase pile diameter then it's a uh, load carrying capacity will increase and then you can use here okay and you have to uh, increase its diameter till its load carrying capacity is more than 1 to 95 kilonewton right and another way is increase that thickness okay increase the pile cap thickness so here we have only one option here we can suppose uh, our geotechnical engineer provide us that data and also suggest a pile foundation diameter and length okay so we can't uh, change anything there but here we can change what we can here do here here we can do we can change our or we can increase our pile thickness right we can increase our sorry not pile thickness we can increase our pile cap thickness right so we'll do it now so simply i'll just unlock it then click okay so here I'll just go ahead define from here go slab properties and we'll define that so here that is 1.4 meter okay uh, that is 1.4 meter also I'll just close that and I'll also close that from here I'll change the unit actually it's kilonewton millimeter then okay then okay so here i'll go define slab properties then for first of all for column is stiff well it's one for it uh, that is one four zero zero then i'll give one six zero zero and after that we'll again go for trial and error process okay then for pile cap one four zero zero sorry one six zero zero then okay then for pile one six zero zero okay then okay and then go for analysis so just see here now the deflection of pile have also reduced here uh, its deflection is only 1.5 1.66 millimeter so if we go here for reaction force so for uh, all direction apply and see here now it's a decrease just see here this uh, value have decreased 1 to 3 3 in previous that was 1 to 9 6 something but now it's a decrease so but it's not okay now again we'll go for increase our 
I mean we'll go for it and increase our pile pile cap the thickness so I can go here define okay so from here oh god I missed if that is consider that if we consider uh, consider it's 200 uh, 2000 millimeter then 2000 millimeter and then 2000 millimeter actually when our uh, the pile cap are being very thick okay because of its load capacity then that is that is that should be very wise to increase the number of pile okay the increase the number of pile if we increase uh, three pile okay then it will be more stable i think so if we increase three pile then it will be more stable than it okay and it will be okay also so when it's done then i can go for run analysis and uh, now see that its deflection have also reduced now it's only deflection is 1.58 now now see what i mean uh, the reaction force apply then see what happened here oh uh, it's also not okay okay it's also not okay but uh, we're just seeing one thing here we're seeing one thing here when we are increasing the thickness because of the self weight of that pile cap our other value are increasing here 1007 that will have also increased right here that value are also increasing but that, that value are decreasing but they have no good result actually so then what we have to do they have another way okay we'll just close that and we'll go for our pile capacity design okay by using that pile so i'll just see i'll just increase the diameter of our pile i'll just give 0 0.8 okay and uh, i'll just see final result what is here now it's showing us our allowable allowable load is one two eight one one two eight one here so i'll just go pile uh, input data and if i give here one two zero zero enter then go final result and see here it's also okay that means we will use when we will go for final design then actually uh, i have provided that excel file in my another video lecture so if you need her you can watch that from my channel okay actually this is not my channel it's your channel so from here you can uh, watch that and you can learn about that software i have created that for you okay and that is absolutely free so after that just when we'll uh, increase that pile diameter okay so um, for only one uh, i mean for that pile will increase its diameter then it will be okay all right so and I, s I think it should it's it should be good to increase its diameter only without increasing its, its thickness so i'll just go back okay and i'll again decrease define and then slap properties show then again i'll come here one four zero zero okay then for pile cap actually that will be very economical okay one four except increasing the pile cap thickness if we increase one pile diameter then we're seeing that it's okay then why will increase whole pile cap thickness to make our pile cap very economical so it's one for zero zero actually it's depend on your technique actually how we'll design that and how we'll make it economical and as an engineer that's very very important to make uh, the 
economical pile for, I mean economical design so you can go L for run analysis and see that our deflection have also again increased it's 1.75 and if we go here for reaction value apply then close no see here see here our wall our wall uh, pile are okay except that pile so here uh, we record 1 to 75 load capacity okay load capacity of 1 to 7 uh, 95 I mean 1300 okay 1300 kilonewton uh, load capacity and uh, the we need a pile that pile capacitor 1300 so I'll just go here we have seen that our that pile I'll just give here I'll give us 1300 okay and from here I'll see that it's okay or not it's not okay it's fail so I'll got input data and also I can uh, increase that pile length so if I increase that pile length if I give her 12 then uh, see here for a final result it's okay now just uh, by increasing uh, 2 meter on if I go for input if I increase only 1 meter 11 then see it's okay or not final result it's also okay so just uh, input data pile capacity here input data so if we um, use the pile that arrangement of pile for middle pile and then it will be able to bear the load 1300 kilonewton load okay it will be able to bear that 1300 kilonewton load so I'll just close that close that and also close that so just see here uh, by using by using that option we can pass our that failure so it's also we, we, we can just now consider that it's also okay so in our next lecture okay you know le next next lecture i'll just show you that how we design our that pile cap so thank you thank you very much Estel. stay connected till in next video and if you're a civil engineer then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and like our video share our video and don't forget to leave a comment your own comment your own like inspires for the next one so thank you thank you very much